Welcome to the first episode of Dinosaurs Weekly, where each week we examine in detail one species of dinosaur, and I desperately try to find a name better than Dinosaurs Weekly. Today we'll be looking at a pretty popular dinosaur, the Carnotaurus. This weird dinosaur is known only from one nearly complete fossil specimen, found by Jose Bonaparte in 1985. The discovery was amazing, even displaying rough fossilized skin covering almost the entire right side of the animal. The skeleton was almost entirely complete, which is really rare for a dinosaur skeleton. Carnotaurus was discovered in Argentina, and the name means meat-eating bull, named for the horns atop its head. It was a large theropod with abnormally short arms and a short, snub-nosed face that looks almost like a bulldog. Carnotaurus's eyes faced more forward than those of other dinosaurs, giving it better depth perception. The horns on its head were possibly used for ramming other carnotaurs, or maybe for display, or for both. T. rex is infamous for its tiny little arms, but those of Carnotaurus were even smaller, and scientists struggle to find a use for them at all. Some paleontologists even think the limbs might have been vestigial, having no use whatsoever. But where Carnotaurus lacked in arms, it made up for in its long, muscular legs, indicating that the dinosaur could probably run very fast for a large carnivore. It definitely didn't skip leg day. Carnotaurus was in the family of Bellisauridae, and I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly. It was related closely to dinosaurs such as Majungasaurus or Rugops. It is thought that Carnotaurus fed mostly on large herbivores, possibly sauropods, but its high speed and relatively weak jaw have led some to believe that they hunted mainly smaller animals. Unlike its relatives, however, Carnotaurus's neck was very long and muscular, possibly giving the dinosaur the ability to swing its head quickly and powerfully, giving more evidence that it perhaps used those deadly-looking horns to fight. They probably wouldn't be effective at taking down prey, and were more likely to be used to fend off other Carnotauruses, perhaps to protect their territory, or for mating rights. The skin of Carnotaurus was also unusual. We can tell from the fossil imprints that it was rough and scaly, with bony bumps sticking out from the skin, almost like a suit of chain-link armor. So, there you have it. All in all, Carnotaurus was a strange, unique dinosaur, and has been slowly rising in popularity since 1985 due to its sheer strangeness. I know it's one of my favorites. Come back next week for an in-depth look at another dinosaur, and subscribe for all kinds of dinosaur videos. But for now, Paleo Luke out.